Okay, our first food is. This, um, oh, my phone! I laid just, another egg. Will you my just phone put fell. your microphone? In it's your not butt. my microphone. My microphone is right here. <laughs> will you put your microphone in your pants? HR, <laughs> HR. Hello. Ring, Hi. Ring. <laughs> Wait, Riston is uh, talking about my pants again. I am. I would like you to put your microphone in your pants. I won't be putting anything in my pants. So. Whoa, hi! Hi everybody, welcome, welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. Oh my god, we almost did that on purpose. To the Kitty and Jim's Show. To the <laughs> and John's Show. <laughs> so we are doing one of our famous Trader Joe's videos, and today we are trying every Trader Joe's Japanese, Japanese or Japanese-inspired Japanese food, of which there are a number. I didn't count them. I think 20. I think 20. Also, fun fact about this video, it is sponsored by Boxu, which is a Japanese snack monthly subscription service. It's really cool. We're going to talk about it later. So just like a couple of disclaimers about this. Obviously, like I'm Japanese American. I love Japanese food. This is just going to be based on what we like and what we don't what like. What tastes good. You know, it's not like a general statement about Japanese cuisine. It's also the Trader Joe's version, so like, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Obviously, uh, I am not Japanese, so I am just tasting these according to whether or not they feel good in my little mouth. Okay, as per <laughs> usual, our categories are just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck... It's penalty box bad! Oh yeah! The first item... <laughs> You have the sillies today. We need to like, I don't know what's going on, but like you have been like absolutely bonkers since you walked in the door. So this product is the tempura cauliflower. It's open because we prepared it and we had to open it to prepare it. Thank you for explaining how cooking works. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that it had the words Kung Pao But it also above says it. tempura. Also, this is, this is Trader Ming's. Which is racist. Which is racist. All right, let's eat it. We're gonna try it. It's got the sauce on it. It's been prepared. Mmm. It's really good. Wow. That's delicious. That's actually really good. Oh my God. It, from my understanding. Oh my God, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's breaded cauliflower with like Kung Pao sauce. So yeah. like, I mean, do you like fried stuff slathered in like sweet and spicy sauce? Yeah, then you're gonna like this. This is yeah. really great. Uh, this is really great too. This is really great. Wow, Trader Ming. You really are. Less offensive now. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Trader Watashi wa gay this. Okay. You can't stop telling the cauliflower that you're gay. I can do whatever I want, you homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, snack mix. Yes, we always pronounce it simbe. Simbe? But I don't actually think that's how everyone pronounces it, and it could be incorrect. It's a bunch of rice crackers. It's just a bunch of rice crackers. Let's just eat it's it. Let's just common. eat it. You know, I like to eat the spicy simbe with uh, peanuts. This is classic rice cracker. Oh no, they're stuck together. <laughs> what are <your> f <laughs> So the thing about your teeth is that if you don't use them, you will die. Use it or lose it, baby. Yeah. Mm. They're good. Why are you doing that? These are my teeth. <laughs> Why are you making a mess in our kitchen? <laughs> you think you can like, use that flirty look to get away with things, and I promise you it will work 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. I mean, they're crunchy, it's light, you know. I'm gonna be honest, this tastes like Japanese rice crackers. Good job, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Ooh, oh, I got a spicy one. These are good. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good okay. job. Speaking of Japanese snacks, do you want to try some of these snacks we got from our awesome Japanese snack delivery box? Yeah. Let's go try them. Woo! Woo! Speaking of Japanese foods, let's talk about Boxu. What is Boxu, you may ask? Well, Boxu is a monthly subscription service that sends premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight to your door. Each Boxu features a new theme, providing a gourmet journey through Japan every month. This is the uh, 2022 limited edition special uh, Sakura box. And you can tell because the box is decorated with beautiful cherry blossoms. There's sakura on this like really, really cute little pamphlet we get that explains the snacks and it, it's so cute and pretty. Okay, so the strawberry milk marshmallows by Yokoi Chocolate. These squishy marshmallows are coated in white chocolate that's kneaded with freeze dried Polish strawberries, a harmonious combination of fruit and chocolate. Can we try it? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> they really do taste like strawberry milk. It's actually incredible. But has a sweet cookie. This crispy biscuit has a gorgeous sakura flavor. Japanese cookies like these are mildly sweet, so they can pair perfectly with tea, like the sencha we're featuring in this month's box. These are really good. <laughs> Let's talk about the gobo chips. These are the umakara spicy mentai burdock chips. These shatteringly crisp chips are made from gobo, or burdock root. They're fried and coated in spicy mentai, kadro, 
flavoring for a light yet fiery treat. Oh yeah, I'm excited about this. Oh yeah, oh my god. Wow. Do you feel like fishy, but in a good way? Yeah, oh my god. There is something spicy about There's it. There's a little bit of little bit of boop, 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 boop. So if you want to have your own Sakura celebration and support our channel, click the little linky in our description box to get $15 off your order. All right, all right. We're gonna enjoy these, Whee! but see you in the video. Tasty snacks. That was tasty. All I'm right. different now. Let's try some snacks that may or may not be as tasty. Okay, so we're gonna try these crispy, crunchy, spicy mochi rice nuggets. We asked our Japanese friend what this says, and she says it says spicy. Let's try this. I don't want the one that's been in your hand. I don't know where your hands have been. I've been in a few trucks. Did you say your hand has been in a few trucks? Okay, I'm trying this. They're really good. <laughs> They are kind of sweet and spicy. There's cinnamon powder in here, but you can taste. And they're dense. Mm hmm They're very spicy. Oh. Yeah. Ooh! I like these. Ooh! Ooh! These are actually be good as ooh! Are you okay? It hit me from the back. They are quite in spicy. In the mouth. What? That's why preparation is important. Ooh! Okay, so the thing about these is that they have a good spice level. Oh! <gasps> This would be Bree's extreme favorite snack that would cause her to spend literally three hours on the toilet every night. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live alone and have a bidet, so I'll take them. It's really great. It's really, it's really great. Right, the next food we're gonna be trying is the Trader Joe's tempura shrimp with a soy dipping sauce. A soy dipping sauce. I like shrimp, but the problem is like, These it's, it's look... fried food that's reheated, so it's never gonna taste as good as freshly fried. Yeah. But it's... Let's, uh, let's, let's give it a, a little, little tasty food. It's really, really chewy. And again, really flavorless. Like just the like, sauce is good. You wanna see a trick? Fine, let's try. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Why would you do that to me? If the shrimp has been fried, I will eat the tail. I think these are just okay. Next, we're gonna be trying the um, the chicken gyoza and the pork gyoza, which are, you know, pot stickers, dumplings. Yeah, these are probably like the most famous Trader Joe's. People love these. Let's try the chicken first. Chicken, the chicken, chicken, the chicken. Why are we saying it like that? I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, they're cooked in seconds. Like it's just like it's just a great quick meal. These are really good. They're they're great. They're, they're really great. they're really great. Let's try the pork ones. Oh god. Mmm. I like these better. They're better. I don't know what it is. I don't know the magic. All right, the pork dumplings. Really great. Also really great. I love you, and I love you. And I, I guess- I have a threesome. I was thinking that. But you know what? I'd probably get a yeast infection. <laughs> so next we are trying the shiitake mushroom chicken. This one is like, is this a Japanese dish? Well, shiitake is a Japanese mushroom. So we'll go with it. This is a Japanese inspired dish. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck? The mushrooms, I think, are really bitter and weird tasting. I don't think they reheated correctly or whatever. Maybe the freezing of them messed them up. Like, if you had to eat this, you wouldn't be, like, miserable. But I don't think you'd be, like, jazzed. This is just okay. This is just okay. Japanese-style fried rice with edamame, tofu, and hijiki seaweed? Mm. I mean, I see the seaweed. I don't see the tofu. Okay, whatever. It says there's it. tofu. I don't see any tofu. That's what I said. Oh. Twin -dim. What happened there? I started saying twinsies and then I felt a burp coming and I didn't want to burp in your face. <laughs> then you just made that noise. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, you're right, it's pretty bad. Ugh. It just like is like sweet blandness that just kind of coats your mouth. So that's like the problem. It's rice, seaweed, sweetness, and then that's it. I think this is penalty box I think bad. This is penalty box bad. So we got um a few of the condiments, the Japanese condiments to try, and we're gonna try them each with plain rice. But Kristen, the first item is what? It's the Trader Joe's Yuzu hot sauce. It's simultaneously spicy and citrusly fragrant. Usually when Trader Joe's uses too many adjectives, that means I'm in for a barn burner of a time. I'm actually really excited because I love hot sauce. I'll give you, you wanna, actually do you wanna do it yourself? I don't know your spice tolerance. My spice tolerance is high. Really? Would you say that is accurate? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's really, really high. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I actually really like that. I was about to say, I don't think it's that spicy. I put a lot on. <laughs> Oh, it is what? spicy, it's really citrusy. This is f***ing delicious. I think this is really great. I'm taking this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try the shoyu now. Okay. Or that's the soy sauce. Let's take a bite. I mean, yeah, it's that's soy fine. sauce. It's fine. It's, it's fine. pretty good. <laughs> we're gonna be trying the furikake, which is a seasoning. So it's like pieces of like seaweed and like different salts and stuff like that. I actually have this at home. I eat it on eggs. <laughs> There's like stuff in there. Oh, it's too much. I need a little bit more. I think I put too little on. Oh, oh, sorry, it's just a huge hole. <laughs> you expect me to know how to handle a huge <laughs> hole? <laughs> I can. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, it's good. Mm, it's really good. A little salty, mm. little mommy, very, it's the flavors of the sea. Mm -hmm. I think it's really great. It's really good. I think it's really great. The next item we are gonna be trying is the Trader Joe's Miso Ginger Broth. There's nothing about this that should taste bad. Mm. Wow, the gingery smell, it's very strong. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. That is nice. <laughs> this is very soothing. The miso ginger broth. Really great. Really great. We have two green teas. This is the matcha green tea. Oh, I got matcha on my leggings that I stole from my sister. My sister came into my house the other day and she was like, those leggings are so cute. I was like, yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> oh, you know what's weird is the matcha is visible, but it doesn't taste grainy. Ooh, I got a little powder hunk there though. Okay, yeah, <laughs> no, I did too. This is pretty good. So this is the sencha green tea. Yeah, that's green it's tea. Yeah, that's green tea, I mean. I actually think it's less flavorful than the powder. This is pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, next. So we are on our final four items of our Trader Jaws Veda, and these are all a bunch of different mochi ice creams. Mochis. Now, we have tried the Okay, well. <laughs> Chocolate peanut butter, green tea, and strawberry. Strab. We're doing the straw first. Ugh, I love mochi. I love it. Yum. This is so good. Oh my God. This is more delicious than it needs to be. I think it's really great. <laughs> really, really, next one. Oh, I love mochi. I love mochi. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Really great. <laughs> this is really great. And These are the vanillas. I bet they're gonna be tasty too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like them better than the green tea actually. Okay, we have men the green tea. It's, it's pretty good. These are really great, the mm. vanilla. I mean, it's so good. It's so sweet, it sticks to your fingers mm -hmm. apparently. Hey. All right, I'm excited for this one. This is the peanut butter chocolate mochi. Here you go, here's this. Oh yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna like this. Uh, um, this one not as good as the other ones. The chocolate flavor does not come through. Yeah, so you just, you it's get just the texture. Butter. It's just peanut butter mochi, which is <laughs> fine. But that's not what it was advertised. I was told there would be chocolate. Yeah. Here's the thing, it's still delicious. That is pretty good. It's still pretty good, it's just not really great. Yeah, hey, props for trying Trader Joe's. <laughs> Thanks so much to Boxu Thanks for, so much to Boxu. for sponsoring this video. Tell us what you want to do next. I guess we can do ice creams. And we love fart you. fart our way into the sun. Okay. Yeah, we love you. We love you. See you later. Bye. Goodbye. Kissy, kissy, smoochy, smoochy. Let's go feed honey bear. Let's feed honey bear.